Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. Okay, I'm doing this video here for Steve at uh, RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. He was um, looking at different ideas to put something on his flywheel on his Toyin V4. And uh, I've kind of messed around with some things in the past. And so I'm going to throw some ideas out there for him using automotive brake tubing um, it's cheap simple um, and I'll show you what I do when I'm trying to fabricate a clutch and I'll show you what I did on my Toyin um, FS100 my single cylinder one when I was coming up with clutch um, ideas so all right here we go okay so um, Steve has a clutch uh, issue and I wanted to go over a couple of things to save him some growing pains that I have learned in the past now um, this is the flywheel off the Toyin FS 100 methanol version okay so it's got four little screws and it's got a little backing on there however this is uh, probably smaller than the V4 I don't have my V4 yet um, I'm still waiting for shipping confirmation from uh, Engine DIY, and uh, so they they said it'll be soon. So, uh, so I'm going to be going through the same things that you are, Steve. So, anyway, so I'm going to use this here as an example, okay? Because now the uh, FS 400 V 400 don't have any holes in it. It's just a round piece of steel as a counterweight flywheel. And uh, so he was trying to figure out a way to get a pilot shaft in it and all this stuff. Here's the problem when you do that. Okay, so if you have a pilot shaft to see this one here, this is an old, uh, old, old school from the 70s, this clutch or flywheel here. And uh, okay, so, you know, you got your pilot shaft goes on your flywheel and holds it down and then your clutch shoes go over top of that and then your clutch bell goes on top of this all right here's the problem when you um say you countersink this here i've already countersunk this one here into because this is i was fitting this on my my toy and uh engine now you see when you countersink this in and then you put your clutch on there okay you see you got that little nub there for your uh that your little clip okay but the further you sink this in to screw it to the flywheel or to the crankshaft now you don't have anything to attach your um your uh, clutch bell to your pilot shaft so now this one is threaded internally, as you can see, and um, which is cool. So you have to make a spacer for this if you if you do that. But here's what I did, okay? And I know it's going to sound cornball, but sometimes you got to do things with the seat of your pants. All right, this is three sixteenths brake tubing, okay? This is for a European car, as you can see by the bubble bubble end on it the newer style metric ones have a bubble um, on the end of it so if you want to use that go ahead so what you do is you go out and you buy a piece of this all right and I'll show you the um, what you know, the part number stuff that I bought because I got mine from Napa and it gives you the sizes and stuff so I'll show that right now now and so, if you see that, um, now try to get a nice straight piece that's not all bent up that somebody had returned. If you get a nice straight piece, you can see it'll sit there and, you know, it's just spins right away nice and smooth. This one here's got a little bend to it, but, um, now one thing I found out, um, this is around... This is a coated stuff, okay? See, it's got a coating on it. So it gives you a little bit more 
a surface area here than the uncoated stuff. Okay, now on the um, tag, it'll say, uh, I think it's 470 thousandths. Okay, and this one come up to be, I think it was around 485, 490. All right, so that means you can take a five millimeter bearing that you're going to put in your clutch. Now, it does set on there loosely, okay, but it spins like super freely. And the nice thing about this stuff is if you have a three millimeter hole in the crankshaft that you're, you know, putting it in, if it's a three millimeter, then you'll be able to set up your clutch like I did. This one here I use for my toying. And I set this on there and it gave me some space. But you see when I drilled a hole in there to put the um, the pilot shaft in, I had to weld this up and make an extension on here because the, the pilot shaft was setting inside the clutch bell. So the cool thing is... Um, Take yourself a clutch bell, put it on your flywheel, take this piece of brake tubing and you put it right in there, inside, as far as it'll go until it bottoms out on the crank. Now you see you're still, you're still freely spinning here, you know, of course this isn't, you know, and what you do is then you mark it out here, okay? Now, like I say, if it's a three millimeter uh, screw that goes in the end if you look inside there a three millimeter sets right in there perfect so you get a nice long three millimeter that you know will take the shape of or, you know the length you need and of all your components and the piece you need and put it right in there and you just bolt it right in with some loctite and now you've got your pilot shaft right on the end of your crankshaft and uh, you and your clutch is serviceable. You just take the screw out, and you can change your clutch, change your shoes, you do whatever you need to do. And uh, you know, lock tightening it in really helps. But um, like I say, when you uh, use the coated stuff, there's actually a plastic coating on here, and it you know it tightens it up. Now there is some slop here. All right, there is a little bit of slop there, but don't worry about that because when this thing's running like so. See how smooth that is? You got two bearings on there, inside there, and it's true as anything. And uh, the plastic that they coat this with is like a Teflon. It's really slippery. And yes, there is a little bit of slop in it, and I'll show you. You can see it moving around there. But don't worry because your clutch shoes will grab this and it gives you room, you know. <laughs> And it now nothing's binding up, nothing's too tight. It's not a hundred thousand percent precision, but I've never had one of these go bad at all ever. And uh, you know, and like I say, I was using I was using the Eclip style ones, um, you know, for the and the, the clips kept flying off. So you know, with the the ones that had the threaded crankshafts or the you know like the pilot shaft there, that's a three millimeter hole. You put a washer and a screw on there and hold your, hold your clutch bell right on there. So, simple thing, you know. Now, if you have a 4 millimeter, there's a 4 millimeter um, hole in the crankshaft on that, on that V4. It, it's not going to go in here unless you drill this 3 16 tubing out. And, you know, it, you do have room to go in there and open it up. All right. But I, I'm hoping, because, yeah, I don't have my V4 with me and because it's still in China. But I'm hoping that it'll, uh, you know, it'll be a 3 millimeter like the rest of the engine is. Now, this is a piece of quarter-inch brake tubing, okay? And uh, if you notice, this is your 3 sixteenths. If you need to make a spacer, the 3 sixteenths will slide right inside the quarter. So if you need to make a spacer or something on your, um, you know, on your 316s for around your flywheel, 
to take up some space and for support you can do that and uh now i'm not sure if a piece of 5 16 will slide over this too you because like i say i've done a lot with brake tubing and uh because it's cheap it's really cheap you, you know you know three or four dollars you get a big 60 inch piece but like i say if you get the opportunity to pick through some make sure you get a nice straight one and you don't have to deal with it and um now if the crankshaft bolt is a four millimeter all right and you got quarter inch you can slide that in there too but now you're going to have to come up with a bearing okay so here's what i had come up with um i figure where that just went because i had one here somewhere <laughs> it's like playing the show game over here anywho i had uh these are the small bearings yeah there's two different size bearings in your clutches okay they're the little tiny ones here the what are they six by eight here now these are bronze bushings okay now these here um they're just old light bushings this is what some of the Traxxas use for their clutch belts you know clutch bells like this one here that's got an old light bushing in it and uh they work fine so if you need to go um a little bigger with your hole and you can put a regular size uh you know i think it's a was it five by eleven bearing in it um if you don't you know you don't have to do that you can use these here okay these are olight bushings for the traxxas uh, there, I think they had these in their transmissions and stuff on the team axes and you know and all that for their um, Axles and all that, you know when you bought them you didn't get the you didn't get the luxury of having ball bearings in them But I say if you if you do that and you need a piece of quarter inch because you're running a four millimeter screw in the crankshaft take one of these old light bushings and drill it out so it fits the uh, the quarter inch tubing and then do the same thing with your clutch bell and all that stuff you know you put it in there and do your uh, you know do your measurements of what you need put your four millimeter screw in there with a um, washer on it and you're fine so like I say you know I I've never had any of these uh, really go bad so and you know if you need to uh, you know if you get a piece of, of brake tubing that's too thick or something for your bushing put it in a drill a little piece of sandpaper and just hold it on there and just you know let the drill spin and it'll it'll machine down what you need till you know you just do it a little at a time till it fits so hopefully this will help you out steve um you know any questions or anything like that feel free to hit me up um, if you can take any of these ideas that I had, you know, go for it, you know, and uh, run with them. If you can, you know, if you can enhance them or light them or whatever you want to do. And hopefully all you'll have to do is drill a couple of holes in your flywheel for your clutch pins like that, you know. Or if you want to do it like I did and I grabbed an old Traxxas flywheel. And uh, I drilled two holes and countersunk them in there with a drill. And you can drill two holes in your your steel flywheel and just bolt them in with some Loctite. And uh, being if you if you have space that you you know you have enough room to move your um, your transmission back and your motor forward, you know this is only going to probably change it maybe by maybe less than a quarter of an inch you know of adding uh, a regular ready to go flywheel onto your existing um, v4 flywheel so anyways like i say good luck with your project there i've been following it quite a bit and it looks pretty cool so um i'm excited to see you know what you come up with and uh so far so good but all right i'm heading out adios